So I think today we should start off with a little, this is some, some stretching. We got to do some stretching. Right. We got to do some stretching, and we got to, so when you're going to do the stretching, you always want to hold it for 10 to 20 seconds, and it's really not doing the next thing. You want to keep your right shoulder down, even though it's, it's automatically wants to go up. Four, five, six, and we'll laugh at 10, and nine, and 10. <laughs> okay, then we'll do the other side. Okay, and three, and four, and five, and, and, and six, and nine, and ten. <laughs> now, don't act joking. It's the number one tennis player in the world. They say he stretches two hours a day. And what a lot of people forget is that stretching builds the muscles just like working out there. So let's see, we'll do, let's do this one too. And we'll do some arm stretches, and we'll do some leg stretches. And three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Off on 10 and 10. <laughs> you always want to keep your back straight, feet shoulder width apart. And three and four and five and six. Laugh with me, nine and 10. <laughs> yeah. oh, that was good, that was good. And we like, you know, it's, it's uh, probably optimal, but we like to do it with our shoes off before grounded with one of the uh, Gaia. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We'll go to 10 and we'll check. We'll laugh at 10. Ready? I might laugh at Three and four and five and six. We laugh at ten and nine and ten. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering if anybody noticed that. See, but uh, the other thing that people don't understand is you want to try to it's so much of bone. You, uh, you know, you can do abs because you do stretch, but really, if you work the most, the biggest muscle in the body is the quadriceps. This is uh, upper leg, the thigh, and, the, and when you bring uh, the, your muscle tone in your side, the muscle burns back, and so the best way to get in your bone is to burn it off. Keep it counterintuitive, and there we have it. Let's do that again. Keep our back straight, and keep the shoulder width apart, and one. Ready? And one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and laugh at ten, and eight. And nine and ten. <laughs> okay, and this is like an abbreviated version for the camera. Girl, for the viewers of the last of today, is skipping. When you skip, you have to be happy. It's, it's, uh, it's more, it's more than happy. It's, there's got an element of silliness and an element of youthful exuberance. So it's, it's fun and it's frivolous, but it's the frivolity, but it's also just uh, recapturing your youth. Everywhere. Here's it for you. We're going to all finish, so we're going to skip. And when you skip, you got to try to move your arms back to side. And you got to do it. We're going to sing Skip the Wheel. Everybody ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Skip the Wheel, ho, ho. Skip the Wheel, ho, ho. Skip the Wheel, ho, ho. Skip the Wheel, my darling. Ho, ho. Skip the Wheel, ho, ho. Skip the Wheel, my darling. Skip the Wheel, my darling. Skip the Wheel, my darling. So there's just a little sampling of what we do here at the Lassie Club. And laughter um, increases lung capacity, bolsters your immune system, and when you um, are breathing better, your brain is thinking more clearly, and so it's going to feed right into my new renaissance. In fact, Dr. Uh, Graff would like to make sure everybody knows, is aware that this is a family-friendly environment. I want to make sure everybody knows the uh, time and place. It's at Washington Park on Hippie Hill, which is on off of Franklin and Mississippi, and it's 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. and 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m., two shows due to popular demand. And so I want everyone to join us, and we have a blast every time. We do a little bit of stretching, a little bit of exercising. We do uh, funny skits. We do whatever we want to do. But it's always hilarious. <laughs> this guy oh, it. Yeah, laughter increases lung capacity, bolsters your immune system, and when you are breathing better, your brain is thinking more clearly, and so it's going to feed right into my new renaissance. So I think about the enlightened figures of the 1400s. We need that to come back again. So I'm, I, Dr. McLaughlin, will single-handedly bring back the Renaissance, the Renaissance of laughter. Laughing will clear our heads, lead to light thinking, and problem solving, and the world will flourish. Dr. McLaughlin, signing off. <laughs> <laughs>